What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning into Stock Essentials. My name is Alex, so we're gonna be going over Alibaba's stock and whether it is a good buy or not at these prices. So as you guys know, it's been trickling down the past year, getting pretty hammered. Um, all time highs was around $319. Uh, so we're sitting at pretty much almost all time lows, uh, or not all time lows, 52 week lows. Uh, which is $130. Uh, so we're basically at 52 week lows, hitting newer lows. Um, and whether this is a good stock to buy for the long term. Um, so it's pretty much given up all its gains that it had uh, during the nice run up here. Um, and we're seeing a really steep decline minus 35% the past three months. This past month, negative 20% past week, negative 8%. Uh, and we're down 3% on the day. So Alibaba, it's been getting hammered. Um, a lot of Chinese stocks haven't been doing well. A lot of the regulations with the Chinese government, uh, as well as the Evergrande situation, which is really taking into effect a lot of the um, Chinese stocks, such as NIO, as well as Alibaba. And Alibaba is basically the Amazon of China. So really big um, company, really recognizable company. Uh, a lot of online shopping, e-commerce, as well as cloud software services. Uh, very comparable to Amazon. Uh, and I definitely don't think that this company is going to go away, um, especially with all the stuff going on. So right now, a lot of people are just selling just out of fear. And the best time to actually buy stocks is when people are fearful. Uh, just like Warren Buffett says, uh, you buy when people are fear you be greedy when people are fearful and fearful when people are greedy. So right now people are being fearful and it's a really good time to kind of get this stock at a really discounted price uh, as we're down more than 50% from its all time highs. So there is a lot of upside potential with the stock, but the thing is this stock can continue dropping. If we take a look at the technical analysis here, we're really in this nice downtrend uh, following this channel here. So this stock does have some more room to fall, but it, it really is getting too oversold territory rsi is indicating I oversold uh at 27 um but people are pretty bullish for the long term as we can see here analyst ratings 89 percent say it's a buy rating nine percent say it's a hold and one percent say it's a sell out of 55 ratings so that's a lot of analyst ratings that are bullish on this stock especially with this price point um and people have um a 300 dollar fair value price target. Um, this was updated a few days ago, October 1st, uh, and it has a five star report by Morningstar. So analysts are very bullish. They've always reported great earnings. So it's a very good company. And overall, I do think that if you want to take a kind of a risk, because this is a Chinese stock, um, definitely buy some, pick up some shares or sell some puts to even get the stock at a lower price. But there could be some more downside uh, that we could be seeing with the stock. So you have to keep that in mind. But buy and hold for long term. I, I do think that this stock will definitely recover to its highs of $300 per share. Um, so yeah, you could get shares at $139, $140 per share. Or you could try and sell cash secured puts and try to get the stock price at an even cheaper price. So what this is, is you're going to be selling a put. And for this example, we're going to be doing the October 8th expiration date. Uh, and you can go down the options chain. What I'm looking at is going to be probably like a 130, 131 um, strike. You want to choose a strike price that you're comfortable buying shares at. So I'm pretty comfortable buying um, shares of Alibaba at $130 uh, each. So that is about $10 under the current stock price. It's going to be a really nice dip buying opportunity. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be collecting. We're getting we're basically getting paid to potentially buy Alibaba at one hundred thirty dollars per share. So we're going to be opening this cash care put when the market opens. Uh, and as we can see here, we're going to receive a credit of ninety three dollars. And that actually lowers basically lowers our cost basis even more if we do get assigned shares. Uh, as we can see, break even is one hundred and twenty nine dollars and seven cents. So you're essentially owning uh, 100 shares at $129.07 uh, 
uh, if the stock price of Alibaba does happen to drop under your strike price at expiration, which is going to be October 8th. Um, so this is something that I love doing. It's selling cash care puts, basically getting paid to potentially buy stock at a cheaper price. And Alibaba is paying some really nice premiums on their, their options right here. Uh, and I do think that Alibaba will definitely recover uh, in the long run after this whole Evergrande situation is going to uh, end. And if, if you don't know what the Evergrande situation is, they're a really big real estate company. Um, they've done a ton of borrowing of money uh, and they own a ton of China's real estate properties. Um, but right now they're basically saying that there's a chance they're going to default uh, which is very bad news uh, and it could have a really big impact on uh, the Chinese economy. So that's why a lot of stocks are doing pretty bad. Um, but I do think that they will get out of it. Um, and like Warren Buffett said, we do want to be gre greedy when people are fearful. And now I think it's a really good dip buying opportunity to get into this stock. Really cheap price stock right now. Um, very oversold in my opinion. And I do think it's going to recover. That's about it for this video. If it helped in any way, please leave a like, comment down below what your thoughts are on Alibaba, and of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. It helps out a lot. Thanks for watching.